Now that's a long stem. Bike blogger here. Testing out my camera. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna post this video. Uh, I just put a longer stem on my bike. The stem is the thing that attaches to the handlebars. And you can extend out how far your handlebars are away from your, uh, basically your uh, body. Uh, I swapped out the stem from a uh, 100 millimeter long to a 130 millimeter long. So it's uh, a little over an inch longer. And uh, I can definitely notice it, the difference. And it actually fits me better. Uh, I've ridden thousands of miles on this bike. And I guess I never realized I should have had a longer stem. Uh, I'm best fit to a bike with a uh, 55 centimeter or a, a 56 centimeter size bicycle frame. And uh, bicycle frame sizes are, uh, they're measured differently between manufacturers. Um, but basically, this bike I'm riding now is one centimeter smaller than uh, my other bikes I've ridden in the past. I generally ride 56 centimeter bikes, bike frames. This one's actually 55. So it's always felt a little cramped I just hadn't bothered to swap any component to actually make it bigger. Uh, this actually feels quite a bit better now. So, good decision. Got a 130 uh, millimeter uh, long stem now. Alright. Gas is $240. $2.40 in the United States. Midwest, St. Louis, Missouri. Gas prices don't change much around here. Here we go. So yeah, I feel a lot more spread out on this bike now. I was uh, a little cramped before, so yeah, this feels quite a bit nicer. I've been riding in the winter, so my uh, my brake cables are getting all rusty and sticky and stuff. Uh, so I went ahead and swapped out my rear brake cable. That was a little bit of a hassle because uh, the rear brake, the rear cables on any bike is always a hassle because it's more routing and it's hard to prevent it from kinking so much. Uh, the front brake always feels a lot more fluid than the back just because there's, you know, a couple extra bends when you're going on to the rear brake. But, uh, I think it's working pretty well now. The trick is to do it so it's not too long or too short when you're routing cables. And with, of course, the least amount of bends as possible. Because the more uh, crim uh, crimped it is, the less, uh, sorry, it's kind of windy. Sort of screaming at the camera right now. Uh, the more, uh, the more it's kinked up, the the brake just doesn't feel as fluid. Like I said, it's hard to explain, but it just doesn't feel as positive, I guess, when you're putting pressure on the brake lever. Not as consistent. Not as much modulation, I guess. Uh, but also another issue is if you get it all bunched up like that with a bunch of turns and stuff. It can, uh, the brake end can bounce around inside the uh, brake lever assembly and then it can create a rattling noise, which as you can imagine is really annoying considering I have my camera at the front of my bike. I don't want to have that noise on picking up on the camera. So that was something I actually noticed in a previous video from this and uh, that had to be fixed. So I think we're okay now. But uh, you should probably replace the brake 
blocks on my brake assembly as well too because they're all nasty or at least take them off and clean them a little winter isn't quite over even though I'm wearing short sleeves <laughs> oh I just noticed I'm missing, missing a little end cap on my uh, my brake lever I forgot to put that back on so I'll have to do that and get home but yeah, this feels so much nicer. I think on a, uh, a 55 centimeter sized road frame, it's not uncommon for a 130 millimeter long stem. I actually had a pretty short one, 100. I only had a 100 millimeter long stem because I used a uh, online bike, cal uh, bike fit calculator and it was telling me he's a hundred but which is comfortable but I like to lean over a little more I want to drop down to the road here let's see car is coming There we go. Alright. Whew. Yeah, I want to do a lot more cycling now that it's getting warmer. Don't hold me to it, but I want to try to upload some more videos. You know, more regularly at least. I'm obviously not at work because it's Sunday afternoon, <clears throat> technically a work night, so I can't be out here too long. But like I said, I'm just really kind of wanting to do a test video to see if I'm going to hear any rattling noises in the, in the video. Hopefully we're okay. Yeah, this is a much more natural position for me. Stretched out more. Yeah. Very windy out here. So yeah, that brings up a whole nother point with the uh, having a camera on your bike. It can get tricky because you don't want the brake cables to be inside the uh, the video frame. And uh, really all you can do about that is, uh, you know, bend the cables out of the way. I feel like I'm going against the headwind, but uh, I wonder if uh, if I turn around, it ain't gonna be a tailwind. It'll just be more wind. It's probably coming at a at a diagonal to me. I think the wind uh, direction. Whew. I don't have a lot of accessories on my bike. I mean, I got a mirror, a bike computer. <laughs> that's about it I mean I got some lights and a bike pump but I think all of those are just kind of essentials so I don't have a lot really hanging on to my bike but it's still annoying when I'm hearing uh, noises in the video obviously a cheap fix to that is uh Obviously, a uh, cheap fix to that is just uh, play music over your video, but I'm not a big fan of music videos. 
wow, I cannot believe how much of a difference this makes going to a 130 millimeter long stem. I could have gone with 120, but I mean, it's only 10 millimeters difference and I wanted a big change and this feels a lot better. If I eventually find out this is just too stretchy, you know, I'm too stretched out, I could swap it to a 120. And that was one of the problems. Since I was going to a longer stem, I had my brake cable cut just right for a 100 millimeter stem. That's another reason I had to change out the brake cable for the rear brake, because it's just got a, another inch to go. It has to be a little bit longer. hill this way yeah, they're doing work over here um, not exactly sure what the ultimate uh, what the ultimate uh, finishing you know thing is gonna be with this uh, this field to my right Let's see. nobody behind me <laughs> right as I reach the base of the hill, let's just go ahead and hit my brakes, right? Yeah, so I don't know. I'm checking the return spring on my brake. It seems to be okay. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing over here. I see stairs leading up to that little shelter there, but I'll have to look it up what exactly doing with that field because uh, I think it's every September they have like a couple dozen hot air balloons sitting on the lawn over there you know and they do a thing called a balloon glow and that's pretty cool uh, you can see up close the hot air balloons because they do a hot air balloon race <laughs> I live in St. Louis but I don't even really know the, uh, the race route for the hot air balloon race. I guess I'll look it up. I'll put, post a link in the video description below this one. Uh, for more info about that if you're interested in hot air balloons. <laughs> I wonder how fast uh, hot air balloons go. I guess it depends on the wind. And, uh, I've never been in a hot air balloon. What are you talking about, bike blogger? Oh, there's no topic in this video, so we can talk about whatever we want. So yeah, I've never been in a hot air balloon before. I'm sure it'd be pretty cool. I am a little afraid of heights. I think everybody is. I don't think I'm one of those people like that movie, uh, vertigo like I have a very big uh, phobia to heights but uh, I have had a few dreams before popular type of dream is you know you falling well I've had dreams where I was you know climbing a skyscraper like a spider-man or somebody and that was kind of scary because you look down it's like Ugh. but I guess if you think about it if you're uh, really high up in the air, um, there's nowhere to go but down. What does this guy do? This is the Muni Opera Outdoor Theater. Can't get in there, it's gated off. We're just going to go around. Nice and easy. Can't imagine what it'd be like falling off your bike going down a 10% or 20% grade. You'd just be tumbling and tumbling and tumbling. I 
can't hear my brake pads, they're a little dirty, so we'll have to work on that. So over here is a, uh, a little pond, and for the first time ever, and I go running through this park like several times every week for years now, and uh, for the first time ever, I think in this pond right here, I saw a bald eagle. I was like, wow, that was really interesting. <laughs> this is not really a place where you typically see bald eagles. Um, I remember when I was growing up in the uh, 80s and 90s, uh, I think bald eagles were threatened or endangered or something, but now I think in the United States at least, uh, bald eagles are almost kind of common. I don't think they're endangered anymore. I don't think they've been endangered actually for a decade or two now. I could be wrong though. Yeah, I just feel kind of faster now on this bike because it has me leaning over. Uh, get on the gravel. Because it has me leaning over. This is a little dangerous on a road bike. It's getting tired. Uh, because this bike has me leaning over with this longer stem, I feel a lot more aerodynamic because it kind of forces me to stay down more. It's kind of hard because you get kind of cramped up on a bike when you don't have a right flank to sit. Ugh. Try not to fall, bike vlogger. Let's try not to fall. Ah. I could go down on the trail to the right, but there might be people walking over this stick this wider road. Um, but yeah, you know, when you have your, when you don't have a good bike fit and you're set of cramp on the frame, you're not you know, spread out as you're supposed to be, at least on a road bike. Your elbows will stick out. Your, uh, basically a whole bunch, your whole body profile is becoming jagged on the, the bike, if that makes any sense. And you're not going to be nearly as aerodynamic. But, I'm... To be honest, I'm not any faster, but I feel like I can go faster with less effort now because I'm leaning over more. And I'm sure I feel like I can go faster if I rode an, uh, if I actually wore a uh, a cycling kit that is like those uh, spandex tights. I used to wear those, but I don't know. It's just kind of like going to uh, platform pedals. You just I just find it easier. To uh, wear street clothes and regular shoes because you know maybe I you know am a couple miles per hour slower but it's not that big of a deal to me because I'm not necessarily racing to get anywhere well I just keep rambling They're coming up on a coming up on a doggy Haven't been hit by a dog yet. Got a video on that. Not exactly sure what's the best way of handling dogs chasing you, but uh, probably shouting or blowing a whistle might be the best option. Or the easiest, at least. I think we're gonna end it here thanks for watching and we'll see you next time